Russia and Syria have halted airstrikes on Aleppo for now. It's in preparation for a humanitarian pause scheduled for later this week. That is supposed to allow civilians and militants safe passage out of the besieged city. CCTV's Ala Ibrahim reports from Damascus. The bombing halt scheduled for Thursday will last for eight hours only. It is designed to allow anti-government fighters a way out of Aleppo city. Al-Qaeda Syrian affiliate known as Jabhat al-Nusra or al-Nusra Front is the largest rebel faction believed to be still entrenched in the eastern parts of the city. The Russian Minister of Defense vowed that Syrian army units will withdraw to provide safe corridors for rebel fighters wanting to leave Aleppo. Syrian government officials are telling CCTV that this truce will be different from previous attempts at a ceasefire. This time, the main goal is not to deliver humanitarian aid. This time, the goal is to get all radical fighters out of Aleppo, hoping to separate between the extremist factions and the moderate ones. An official here in Damascus says that this might be the final chance for opposition fighters to distance themselves from Al-Qaeda's affiliates. In the meantime, the state television here continues to report on ISIL fighters moving from Iraq into Syria. The TV station quoted uh, a local source in the self-proclaimed capital of ISIL, Araqqa, as saying that 10 buses, along with 12 other vehicles, arrived to the city carrying fighters and their families. The same source said that the new arrivals were given apartments by, by ISIL, which might be an indication that ISIL's reinforcement from Iraq might be in for a long siege. The apartments that ISIL distributed to its fighters and their families are confiscated from uh, Syrian residents who fled the city after the radical group took control of it. Security agencies here think and estimate that there will be a surge in the number of ISIL fighters as Iraqi forces advance on Mosul, the last major stronghold for ISIL in Iraq. Al-Ibrahim, CCTV, Damascus.